everyone, and welcome back to another education moment for the Children's Museum Houston. I'm Allie, the life science educator, and today we're going to be doing a really fun activity, building a bug hotel. For today's activity, you're going to need a recycled plastic container, some tape, some scissors, some paper, maybe some cardboard that's pretty optional, and then some sticks. And that's it. Are you ready to build this bug hotel with me? Come on! As some of you may know, I planted some beans in my garden a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, aphids have invaded my garden and started eating the leaves of my bean sprouts. So, in order to get rid of those aphids, I'm actually going to be inviting some good bugs into my garden, like ladybugs. Ladybugs eat aphids and they don't eat the leaves of your plants. So, I'm hoping that if I build them a little bug hotel, they'll stay in my garden and eat those aphids. In order for my ladybugs to stay and live in my garden, they need to have a dry place for them to live that's also out of reach of their predators, like birds that eat them. So, what I've done is I've taken a two liter bottle and I've actually cut it in half already. And I've marked some lines on my bottle. I've actually marked four. One, two, three, four. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to cut about half an inch on either side to remove that black line that I drew. And what this is going to do is gonna, it's going to give my ladybug home a place for the ladybugs to crawl out of. Great job. Now we have a bottle that has four slits in it. Awesome. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the bottom of our two liter bottle and we're gonna fill it with some things that the ladybug might like to crawl in and out of. So I happen to have this nice cardboard comb. I think that ladybugs will like to crawl in those little holes. I also have some rolled up paper. So what I've done is I've taken some, a sheet of paper and I've cut it into strips. And what you're going to do is just roll those strips into a hollow tube for those ladybugs to crawl through. And I have a piece of tape and I'm just gonna tape that tube so it doesn't unravel. So now I have a bunch of little paper tubes. I also brought some sticks in from outside. And what I wanna do is fill my bottom two liter bottle with these sticks and these tubes because we want to give the ladybugs a place to crawl. Now, if you don't have cardboard, that's okay. You can actually use like a balled up piece of paper or something like that. You can also use more sticks. It's up to you. So here I am lining up my sticks around the outside and then I'm going to put some of my rolled up paper in there too. And you just want it to be nice and a little bit loose so that the ladybugs can crawl around. And I'm just gonna slowly fill in my ladybug habitat. And if you notice that you can also use like a paper, uh, a toilet paper roll, I can put some of those in there for the ladybugs to crawl around in. Put some of all of my paper tubes in there. Awesome, very good. And if you look, it kind of looks like a little bit of a mess, but ladybugs love that because what it is is they're so small, they can crawl in and out of all those little sticks and paper and feel very safe and protected away from the elements like rain and the birds. Now what we're going to do is take the top of our bottle. We're actually going to fold it in around the rest of the, bo the bottom bottle. There we go. Let me make sure all my sticks are nice and intact. One of my sticks is a little big. That's okay. What I'm going to do is take it out, snap, break it so it can not be too big. A lot of this is a little bit trial and error, which is just fine. I think that'll work now. We'll see how it goes. Awesome. So now we see we have this bottle over that bottle. We're going to need to tape that down. So what I'm going to do is get some of my tape and I actually have a few starter pieces that I prepared and I'm going to tape the bottom flaps 
down over that bottle. And then I'm going to take a good big piece of tape and actually wrap it all the way around to make sure that it's nice and sealed. This container now has the hole that they can crawl out of, but they also have these little slits on the side for them to be able to get out of. And I can actually place this directly in my garden and ladybugs will come and live in this little container. No birds can eat them here. And it's kind of see-through, so I can actually watch and hope that ladybugs come to my garden. I can see if they actually have, because I can see inside. Um, if you don't have a two-liter bottle, that's okay. You can actually use any type of bottle, or even if you wanted to use a cardboard box, you can place some tape over the top of it to kind of waterproof that instead. You can also use like an old can, like a vegetable can, and put some sticks in there and leave them out. And that works as well. So it's all about recycling and using your imagination to solve a problem. So there you have it, a bug hotel for my ladybugs in my garden. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my garden and hopefully attract some ladybugs to take care of those pesky aphids. I hope to see you again for another education moment for the Children's Museum of Houston. Have a great day. Bye.